Yeah, what's up guys? It's your boy Digital Graphics. How are you doing today? Right now I want to show you how you can take your design to the next level. So let's take you for instance. After finish your design, you want to present it on a markup and uh, you don't want to uh, undergo any strikes. So you decided to make your own mock-up how you can design your own mock-up and present your design on this particular uh, mock-up using what using your pc lab as you share so without wasting much of our time i will quickly show you how to do this so this is my pc lab in traffic so what i need to do is to set the kind of sizes i want so let's assume i want to use a square size i will go to the custom and select a square size after that then this is the screen this is the interface what do i need to do i will go to degree the interior then choose this color it's already custom here yeah so you choose this something like a gray color mix it white then after that the next thing you need to do is to just select this particular shape then you are going to uh, crop the shape like this and I have it position around there. So after position it, then the next thing we need to do is to go to our shadow. So apply a shadow. So after applying the shadow, the blur radius you can make it to be 20. Why your offset Y, let it be negative. So as you can see. So after you're able to do that, tap on this plus sign and you adjust this a little bit. So for you to be able to say so when you once you are able to do that then the next thing we need to do is to so we already increase our blur radius to be like this so our uh offsets uh y let it be negative so let it be something like a minus five or six so when you are able to do that you can see what we are able to achieved so you can still go in there so take you for instance want to still adjust this more so we have something of this nature okay perfect so after we're able to do that then the rest is so simple so we can go into uh our phones so where we are uh, the particular design we want to present on the markup so let's go and select one okay so we go in there select one so let me look for a perfect design to so no sorry <laughs> this is one of the materials so, let me look for one here so let us zoom i want to present this okay on a markup so how do i do that this is it you can see right so what 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 do i need to do i will just present this like this okay it's not in there okay so after you are able to do this move it down a little bit then you make sure that uh, you use your relative position very well the left and the right are absolutely the same after that tap the empty area and go to your sticker so get into the sticker you need to look for a shadow uh this shadow come along with uh, this piece lab you can get that though people are selling it outside there so you can have your own with different one anyway okay so this is it you can see all these the variety of shadow which you can apply so if i want to use the one that will be okay now so i will decided to use uh let's say the third one so i will click okay go to the crop so i will crop this one so that will be okay then i will still continue i will still use uh, more so then you position it to the center so after position to the center, you bring it down. You see the way I'm showing it. Bring it down and let it spread across. Let it spread across. Okay, perfect. So when you look at the now, we are able to uh, present this on a markup. And even it should be uh, very hard for you to tell whether this uh, was done on your pc lab so you can match if you like and uh, adjust it but this is cool so another thing that we need to do after that has been done okay is to um we go to this particular line i mean sorry we are not copy this we are copy the same shadow so this shadow okay so this time around we are not picking the third one we are picking the second one 
just to put a finishing touch to this so we are going to come here sorry so make sure you lock this one and if possible hide the top one hide this one as well so we hide it so it will remain this so once it remain this then we can position this here okay perfect but what we need to do is to increase and make it cut across okay mm, just put it at the edge here so increase the size a bit okay perfect you can see to put the finishing touch to that you can go to your relative size and you are going to uh, centralize it you can see what it was showing very good so after that you can enable this so once you enable that you increase this towards the app okay so that one will be showing at the bottom why you are going to uh, increase the size for this okay perfect perfect and this is just a simple way on how you can um, uh, make your own uh, or marker presentation just as simple as that so another issue that we might be having here is uh if probably you don't have this kind of a pc lab do people are selling this uh uh this pc lab anyway um what i would do is that comment on that just drop your comment on the comment section and i will get the link being pasted so i believe we'll learn something from here Thank for watching. God bless you. Another thing that uh, you can still do in presenting your design on the markup, I'm going to introduce another application for this, and that will be um, that will be uh, an application called a drop shadow. I know it's very popular, but there are some ways in which we can make this. You might be looking at it that uh, this is an application. So you might be looking at it that some people are using this application or uh, to do that then after that when you this is the interface after you open it so what i've created you will see everything here you can see you can see what i've created here so you see everything i've created so you can choose image that you want to so i'm choosing the same uh images for me to see so let me choose the same images so so after that you have to crop it so i'll make you go across so after that's been done then you can see it apply the shadow automatically mind you we can do this on our pc lab as usual it's all about settings so and when you look at it this is cool right so what else can we do if we don't probably want to adjust this you can change the background to whatever color you want so when you look at the bottom there is a background here you can use pattern where you have this kind of a pattern go to the color it automatically generates color for you based on the color you apply on your design so you see the green it will pick all the colors so you can select the one you want so as i'm selecting it you can see them one after the other so it selects automatically selecting all the colors so i can pick whatever i wanted and if i don't want to use any of this color i can see it with transparent uh, backgrounds so if i go to here i can remove the background so it will save with transparent background for me to be able to place it anywhere i want it to be placed and that is how we can just uh, achieve that and if you want to reduce the size to make it uh, look okay just tap on it then you go to scale so you are going to scale it by reducing it if you want to even reduce the background size as well you go to the ratio aspect ratio and choose the small one that you actually wanted so after that has been done then another thing you can still do is you tap on the ear then you can move it around so let's take it for instance i move it to this corner so i can automatically save it then the I will, I will continue placing this one after the other depends on how i want it so take it for instance i want to uh, just increase this one a little bit so i want it to be two two on the on the edge so the shadow i need to reduce that so i will go to 
the shadow so tap on this one so we'll go to the shadow then adjust the shadow so it go uh, much to the left uh, and uh, to the bottom so i will adjust it accurately so this is cool right so the next thing i need to do after that has been done i will just um save it without backgrounds and as you can see it has been saved so what is the next thing to do so let us zoom uh, i want to i've already saved let me save this one as well so i will just teach you how we can just uh automatically make use of all those stuff so sorry let me save with png then with ultra so after saving that then we can proceed okay um so the next thing we need to do now is to just uh, let me hide everything here then go to the size and have the size change if possible properly you can have the size changed and i might decide to leave the size like that but i will have the size change since i want to post it um so youtube channel size so you can see how it look right so i'm changing the background now i'm changing it to pure white so go in there then select just import these two stuff that we just make now so the first one is this so i automatically position these around here so you can see right so and another thing i still discover one thing i can just bring this one i would demarcate it into two so instead of me making it this way I will go back to what I did. Select, just uh, delete this first one, and you unveil everything here. So after you are able to, I'm um, able to do that. Then the next thing I will do is to just, uh, I'm going to hide um this. Yeah, I'm going to hide this. Then hide this. Then once I'm able to do that. I will save this with transparent background as well, just to make the whole work simple. So after saving that, then I will proceed with uh, the previous format by hiding all the layers. Um, then have the color being, I mean the size being changed to YouTube banner size. Then I will apply another fresh background color. Then I will now bring up this. So take it for instance, I brought this. So I will automatically, quickly, just repeat the previous process which I did. Divided this into two. I'm indirectly teaching you many things like this, if you can notice. So I'm trying to teach you how to still make a thumbnail because I'm indirectly making a thumbnail like this. So what I need to do, I will just go to, so I've combined many things together. So just go to the uh, color. So we are applying the same gray color which we did before. So I want to just patch this and make sure that uh, it actually work for this. So make sure that you centralize so that the color will not just move to one particular side. And uh, you have it positioned very well. After that, we are going to bring this one to the top, which you can see. So we are going to enable this as well so which we are going to bring to the front so everything is just going to be at this particular place so after position that you bring it at the back and look at it everything will seem to be cool okay perfect now after that has been done so we can lock the tray together why this can be uh, um So we can just make this, it's cool. So let's bring it to the front. Unlock it for us to see. So we can delete this. Why this, we are going to unlock, bring it to the front. So that has to be set around this area. So we set it. So we just send it to the back. Okay, perfect. So we we'll lock it as well. So this side, uh, we're able to set that. 
So another thing that we still need to do is to uh, just go to the previous one, which is under the we did with the uh, drop shadow. So we can just uh, bring that. So we'll bring it here. Okay, cool. Perfect. So now looking at it, you can see we have uh, the manual one and uh, we have the one application that can generate the second one for us. And I prefer the one I even did with uh, PC Lab than the second one. Both are fine anyway, but I love the one I did with uh, PC Lab. So I believe we will learn something here. Don't forget to um, apply this in your design and uh, make your design look more awesome instead of making it look boring okay so presenting it this way you can see it even made um, it, it captivate it and make it look uh, more presentable so just i'm trying to position it well so after that i increase this one a little bit okay perfect perfect so you can just put any write-up that you want to so let's say um how to how to create mock-up to create mock-up so you just need to reduce the size put it here okay so once i'm able to do that I'll just go to the font area, select captivating fonts. So I, I think I can use a, uh, or use the font that is okay. Let me see this. It's not really bold enough. So let me just use a real way extra bold. Mm. Oh, Matizera. Let's use uh, Matizera. So let me make it in cap. Reduce the size a little bit. Then getting that, you can tell the kind of a color you can apply for this. So I'm tapping the color from here. Okay, cool. So how to create mockup. So I will just tap here and say PC Lab tutorial. So just position that here. So those are the two ways of presenting a markup and uh, this is cool, right? So you can just add any kind of a effort to make it cool. Thank for watching. I believe we'll learn something from here. God bless you.